happy day to my dear students and uh, viewers and uh, today we are going to discuss about the types of amplifiers that are used in the biomedical instrumentation <coughs> so uh, first of all we should know what is mean by amplifiers okay the amplifier is uh, electronic circuit that amplifies the level of input signal from minimum to maximum maximum in the sense with a coefficient of at least 5 uh, 50% okay here in biomedical instrumentation amplifier the operational amplifiers plays a major role okay, operational amplifiers simply we call as um, op amp <coughs> this uh, using this operational amplifiers all the remaining amplifiers uh, such as this differential amplifier instrumentation amplifier chopper amplifier and uh, isolation amplifier were designed so to design all those things operational amplifier is uh, important component okay. so if you want to study these uh, types we should know first of all what is meant by operational amplifier and uh, at least if you know the basis of this operational amplifier we will we can able to understand the remaining portions that is differential instrumentation chopper and isolation okay. so now we will look at this uh, operational amplifier okay. so operational amplifier as the name uh, operational amplifier it does the operation which operation what type of operation it is doing it is doing different types of operations first one is non inverting then inverting then um differentiation then integration summing okay so using a single operational amplifier circuit that is ic we can perform these types of uh, operations okay. once again repeating first we can do summation summing amplifier then differential amplifier then integrating then inverting non inverting okay so you can if you look at the slide only few points i have written but uh, uh, you can take uh, these notes also so the operational amplifier is a high gain performance differential amplifier why it is meant as differential amplifier at the beginning of this operational amplifier because this operational amplifier is designed using two transistors okay two transistors and those transistors are connected in differential mode okay those transistors were connected in differential mode that is why it is uh, mentioned as high performance differential amplifier then uh, <coughs> now if you look at this uh, symbol of the operation amplifier it looks like a uh, triangle okay with two inputs single outputs okay with two input single output one input is non inverting input Okay, that is 
the plus and uh, other input is converting input v minus okay so since the input is given to the positive terminal of the operation amplifier it is named as non inverting terminal non inverting input and since the input is given to negative inputs negative of the operation amplifier this terminal is named as inverting inputs okay and for the operation for the performance for the ic to do it work okay it should be given a power supply okay so two power sources are required one is positive supply and another one is negative supply so positive 5 volt and negative 5 volt is mandatory why negative voltage is required okay positive voltage usually for an ic uh, we will be providing only positive voltage and <coughs> negative for closing the circuit we can say that negative as uh, ground but here we have ground and another one point is there that is negative voltage the reason is the positive terminal will provide the when the input is provided to the positive terminal that is non inverting input the output will be the same whatever we are providing in this non inverting terminal plus the output will be same okay it is just bypassed through the feedback resistors whereas when the input is given to this inverting input terminal okay so whatever the input is given in this terminal the outputs Okay, the output at the terminal is simply the inverted. For example, if we are providing minus three volt at the inverting input terminal, then out at the output will be getting plus three volt. And similarly, when uh, plus three volt or plus five volt is given to this input inverting input terminal. then obviously we will be getting the same in negative at the output that is why in order to provide the negative outputs negative outputs we should employ this negative supply also so here is the pin diagram of the inverting terminal sorry that is uh, operation amplifier usually this operational amplifier will be represented as ic741 okay so first terminal is offset null and second terminal is input okay that is uh, negative input and uh, uh, third terminal is the positive input and fourth terminal is minus input voltage fifth terminal is offset null again and the sixth is output seven is plus 5 volt five excitation that is supply and eight is no connection <coughs> okay now let me go for the terminologies so this negative voltage positive voltage v minus v plus i minus i plus v dc plus v dc minus v dc so v plus is the non inverting input terminal and v minus is the inverting input terminal and v out is the output voltage 
I naught is the output current, I plus is the current through the inverting, so this is non-inverting input terminal and I minus is the current through the inverting inputs. So the outputs V out will be the difference between the inputs that is V plus and V minus that is difference between the inverting input voltage and non-inverting input voltage. Okay. So that's all with the operation amplifier. In the next class we will discuss about the differential amplifier. Thank you.